Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a quick makeup tutorial. I'm taking some inspiration from uh, Bella Hadid at the, I think it was the Dior show that she was at um, in France. So yeah, it's going to be a really quick, simple look and a, quite a glowy, easy to do makeup look. I'm currently filming this on my phone, so um, yeah, whatever. So the first thing I'm going to use is my Ordinary um, Toning Solution. I use this quite often, both morning and night, as I really like this product. I love the Ordinary's um, products. I think they're really inexpensive and I think that they work really well and I just love the packaging. I think that they look really nice on your bedside table or on your desk. So I'm just going to, I do normally use a cotton pad but for today I'm just going to put it in my hand. This is what I normally do on an evening and I just kind of like rub it into my skin. So I'm normally I'm scrubbing my tan off at the moment it normally takes me about two days <laughs> to get it off so I'm on the first day of scrubbing so if it looks a little bit strange that's why um, I'm then going in with my Paula's Choice Tube Scent BHA um, Exfoliant again I use this most days as well I mainly do my skincare on an evening before I go to bed as I like to apply oils and lots of other different serums. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my base. So I'm just going to go in with my concealer. This is the Last Imperfection Concealer in the shade Cashew. And I'm just gonna apply onto all of the areas where I have a little bit of redness or blemishes, just to add a little extra coverage as I don't like to apply too much foundation in summer as I like to be able to see my freckles. So just applying a bit of that everywhere. And then I'm gonna go in, Hello. I'm gonna go in my brush just to blend that all out. And I do think that these products have really helped to even my skin tone out. I, as I am very fair haired, um, my skin's very fair as well. So I have very red skin, especially on my face. And I think that having the correct product my skincare really does help to cancel out cancel out any of their redness. So just applying that. Okay. And as I want to add a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna go in with a mixture of three different types of foundations. So I'm using the XX Revolution um, Skin Booster in the shade Flame. So this is like a a product that you can wear on its own. So I'm just applying a tiny bit. It is kind of a darker shade to my natural skin tone, but it does actually even out when you apply it to your face. It has like a shimmer. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of the Ordinary Skin Serum in the shade 21Y and the shade 21Y, light yellow. Oh, so this one is medium yellow. This one is light yellow. Just applying a tiny bit of that and then mixing in the back of my hand and just applying it lightly to my skin. And you can still see my freckles through, which is what I like. Just 
especially in summer. If the lighting is on and off here, I am filming it from the window and it's a cloudy sunny day, which is not very helpful, but you know, we've got to work with what we've got. So I'm then going in with contour. So for this, I'm using the misguided contour stick in the shade D9. And I'm just gonna apply it into the hollows of my cheeks, across my forehead, along my jaw and down my nose. So I take my contour from the tip of my brow down and just kind of leave a little gap here and then just apply on the tip. And for the nose contour, I take a smaller, more defiant brush, blend it into the socket and then down. And this just helps to kind of keep it a little bit more in the place that I want it. And for blush, I'm going in with the Ghost, um, I think this is a lip product, but I'm gonna use it as a blush in the shade berry and I just kind of take it on the highest points of my cheeks as I find that this really helps to elevate them up and a little bit on my lips and I like to put it on my nose as well just to add a little sun kissed look and then I take my sponge and just pat that in I do um, really like having a soft brush like this that I use for pretty much all of the products as I think that it really helps just to kind of blend everything together. Okay, so I'm gonna conceal again. So I'm just taking a little bit. I'm just gonna go in there and then down my nose and a little bit on the forehead. I'm not going to conceal it under my eyes yet just because I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow first. And then just again using the same brush. Okay, so for eyeshadow, um, the picture that Bella, of Bella, where she has her hair and makeup done, she has quite a clean eye look, where she just has a bit of a um, sharp flick eyeliner. So I'm gonna use my B eyeshadow palette for this, and I'm gonna go in firstly with the white shade, so shy. I'm just gonna set that all over my eyelids. I'm taking it up towards the brow. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Delicious on a more of a pointier brush and just kind of carve out the socket. You can see the difference between just adding a little bit of shadow in the socket. Do the same on this side. And then gonna go in the shade Delicious again on a more of an angled brush. Tap off the excess and just kind of drag it outwards from my eyelids. Oh. 
And I'm gonna take the shade Delicious on the angle brush underneath the eyes. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back in with the concealer. So I'm gonna go back under the eyes. And then here. And take this little brush. Okay, for brows, I'm going to go in with the XX Revolution Faux Brow in the shade Medium Brown. So I'm just going to brush them up. So brushing them up. And then I'm going to go in with the pencil side and just kind of roughly shade them in a little bit. go and set my brows with the Right Now Brow Gel by Misguided in the shade Medium. Just brush it through. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. For mascara, I'm using the NARS Climax. This is one of my favourite mascaras. But look at the difference. So to set the skin, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder and just kind of like applying this all over the skin. And then for bronzer, I'm going in with the Ready, the Instant Bakey. And then for down the nose, going in with the lighter shade. Whilst I'm in that area, I'm going in with the shade So Shy you see? into the inner corner. Oh, hi, monster. With a shade of bit is it glimmer? Just add a little sparkle in there. Then for the blush, I'm going in with the shade Stop My Blushing about last night. And just applying over the top of where I put the other blusher. So the whole thing I do with my application of products is I just go over where I applied. And then for lips, I'm going in with the lip liner locked up by Sleek. Can you say hello first? Big bear! <laughs> and then on the lips, I'm going in with a YSL combo. Whoa! 
Um, I'm going in with the shade, I'm not sure, this, this on my lips, it's like a little purple colour, and then take my brush and just run it over, it is a lip stain. And the second product I'm going in with is the YSL Tint in Oil. And just... I mean, I will tear my hair down, but I can't guarantee it's going to look any nicer than... So this is the finished makeup look. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again on Sunday with a new video, which I'll be continuing on from today as I'm gonna be doing, I think, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna do something. See you next time.